previously on the Youth Edition. Freddy! Yes! Get in! Fuck you, Cheltenham! Fuck you! Get in, son! Big Freddy was denied before. It's fallen in his fucking lap. And he snaps at home. I think that's his first goal. to the youth edition with Cheltenham Town FIFA 17 we currently sit in third position a bit of a rough episode in the last one dropping a few points there uh, one of those was to Aston Villa we drew with Newcastle United and then we beat Preston uh, there's two games remaining before the January transfer window opens but then we've got a game almost immediately so uh, I'm not sure if there'll be any transfer action in this one uh, unless something happens on day dot but uh, let's get into this one firstly with a player upgrade Right, today's player upgrade is, of course, Fista. Uh, this one comes from Callum Ferrer. He's been a long servant uh, watcher of the channel, so thanks very much for being a part of it for so long. Uh, he asked if we could give him the number 69, which is his uh, long-lost brother Fista's old number. So he's taken over the family jersey. Uh, he wanted high socks, some white Adidas boots, boxing tape on both wrists, untucked shirt, short sleeves, and a tight-fit kit. So we've done that, and let's hope that turns it around and Fista can maybe get a gig and score some goals. All right, here we go. First game of the episode. It's Cheltenham Town hosting the Wolves, and we are at home. The first team will be rolling out today, and uh, yeah, even though it's made his way to the bench, he has been influential this season, but uh, with Jones coming back from injury, he'll slot in at right back, and I've been very, very happy with Pearson at left back. Uh, so he's got a lower rating than Ivanov, but I'm gonna play Pearson there at the moment because I feel he's probably got a bit more potential and uh, he seems to serve that left side quite well with a bit of extra pace that Ivanov doesn't have. We're the best defensive team in the league, only letting in 11 goals so far for the season. Uh, but we just need to find a little bit more firepower going forward. Let's get straight into the game and see if we can take three points. Taki Anwar, off to Pearson. Suarez, inside, here's Tamite. Takes the line on, it's Tamite! Oh, get in! Fucking get in! Tamite gets his eighth goal of the season. He just slid through like a hot knife in butter. And he's just used all that power to smack the keeper. It's dribbled in. And it's 1-0 Cheltenham with pretty much our first attack of the day. Tamite just dribbled around, smacked it. And the keeper couldn't handle the power of big JDT. It's 1-0 to Cheltenham. Good finish there from JDT. That's what we need from him. If he gets in a position to score, he needs to do it. He's got a goal there. And it's 1-0. Oh, well, a well-worked goal there by Wolves. Tore our defence apart and they equalise only a few minutes later. Oh, well, well, well. Wolves have come to play, ladies and gentlemen. That is the story. This guy's absolutely turning himself into a trophy piece for some reason. Get off the wall, you idiot. And it is one all. He slid that one past Baker with uh, some utmost precision. Phil actually missed the challenge and then got caught out. And I'm not sure what Borges Fernandez was doing. Baker was caught on the spot. And a good finish to the bottom right corner. Makes it 1-0. Tomite does well. Fights his way in with strength. There's Tomite. Seen Tekkers. Didn't matter. Tomite works his way inside. Takes it off. Tomite! Oh, good save. Well, Zaki's down, he's holding a leg. Let's hope that's not a long layoff because he's been quite instrumental, at least at the start of the season. Avila comes in on the right and Cooper into the cam roll. Great save from Baker. That was a brilliant save from the young Australian. A good ball in, quick head on, and Baker ready for it. It's a corner now for the Wolves. As they try and capitalise here. Cooper. Avila. Cuts in nicely. That's a great ball from Avila. He's found Elfie Cooper. Oh, keeper did well. They clear it away, and there's the whistle for half time at one all. Oh, Costa does well, fights his way through. Can he get a bit of a cross in here? He tries. He finds Luna. Oh, roll in. Oh, my God. A goal line save. Oh, fuck. 
Wolves take the lead, 79th minute. Oh, once again, some poor defending there from Cheltenham. Big Phil had him covered. Somehow the ball came in. I think it was Jones completely out of position. Baker, not sure what happened there. And they get the goal, it's 2 1. Villa whips it in. It's fallen out to Big Phil Mulholland. He chips it off to Diallo. Diallo finds the nose in Luna. He cuts inside. Alfaro Suarez, oh, what a save! What a fucking save from this keeper. Oh, fuck off! Jesus Christ, boys! Why do we fall apart in December? Wolves take the lead. Well, they've already got the fucking lead, but that makes it 3-1. This game's done. Oh, counter-attack. They're beating us out of our own fucking game. Toza, what was that? What you... Why are you slide challenging when the ball's not even there? Fuck's sake, Jones. And there's the whistle. So a 3-1 drumming from the Wolves. And the boys need to pull their finger out. Seven shots to six. We laid the tackles. Fuck me. A rough game. A rough day at the office, that's for sure. A villa. Rotten. Well, Zaki Anwar sprained his ankle. We'll be without him for four weeks. All right, two days after that shocking loss to Wolverhampton, uh, we're hosting Leeds at home. And the reserves team will be going out today. Fister is going to start up front. Uh, a lot of young kids into the team today just to keep everyone fresh. And, uh, well, we need to turn things around. I mean, we're still in touch, but it's tightening up with these couple of losses of late. And we need to find some more avenues forward. And a better defensive performance is what is required. Here's the starting lineup. Baker, Laprovet, Borges, Fernandez, Alexi, Ivanov, uh, Kushla, and Tassip in the midfield. Barbier, Dosa, and Big Freddy on the right. And Fister up front. So a relatively inexperienced front line. Um, let's hope they can get the job done today. Oh, some good work again from Barbier. And he's working his way inside. But a good challenge from... Someone in particular, it's Fister now, works his way inside. Fister! Oh, he's put everything through that one. Oh, Fister just strips him of the ball. Feeds it off to Dosu. He slips it off to Big Freddy. Big Freddy was a hero. And here he comes with the cross. Barbier! Oh, that is brilliant goal. Big Freddy feeds it off to the Frenchman in Barbier. And he just absolutely propelled himself, launched himself forward. Cheltenham take the lead here. Barbier just came out of nowhere, flying through the air. And he gets himself his first goal of the season. Yes, it is. And it's 1 0 Cheltenham. Look a bit, Barbier. Shows a lot of promise. Not sure about the blue gloves. But, uh, he gets the opening goal for us today, and it's 1 0 Cheltenham. In goes the tackle, and it's a corner because of it. It's another corner for Leeds. They're threatening, they're pushing hard. Here it comes. It's pretty average. But... Oh no, it's lined up perfectly and he's missed out on the cupcakes there. Balucci. Balucci. Someone with the captain's arm man. He's hit it on the volley and it's gone well high. And there's half time. It's 1 0 to Cheltenham. Cheltenham. Millet. Back post. Oh, it's Price. Price is between the sticks again. I always forget that we traded him to Leeds. So uh, it'd be nice to get a few more past Pricey. Dosu controls it nicely. Barbier's kept running. Feeds it inside. It's Rowe now. Rowe sees the run. It's Laprovet. He's moved inside. Laprovet gets in! Fucking come on, Cheltenham! And there it is. Laprovet getting his first goal for the fucking club. What a run from Laprovet. Moves down from the wing back position and smacks it past Price. Well, you can tell Price won't be making his way back to Cheltenham. That was pretty pathetic from him. Laprovet puts it in, it's 2-0 Cheltenham. And hopefully we've wrapped up three points here against Leeds. And it's Millet. He's just racing Toby Price. Come on, Millet. Finish it off, son. Fuck you, Toby. 3-0 Cheltenham. Millet gets a goal. And that is his second for the season. Well, Toby Price tried to come up and do something against Cheltenham. Yeah, suck shit, dickhead. Millet has just taken off. And Toby Price, no chance in hell. A quick finish there. 3-0 Cheltenham, just what we needed. And this one's done and dusted here. And there it is. 
Full time, three points to Cheltenham against the Toby Price Leeds. Well, the reserves did the job. We only had the seven shots. Leeds were definitely the strongest side, but 15 tackles. Our defence fucking stood up. And Laprevet with a 9.6, a cracking goal from him. And we secure three points. Right, you scored a monthly report. Niall Kelly is a 76 to 94, 61 overall. Harvey Alexander, 78 to 86. He's dropped away. We'll give him another month, but we might get rid of him. Dennis Banks, 78 to 92. And Benjamin Falker is 82 to 92. Right, the scout is back from Slovakia, and there's only one player I really want to have a look at, and uh, that is Alos Bartos. Um, 52 to 68 overall, 73 to 94. Uh, looks pretty decent, so we're going to sign him into the Youth Academy. All right, Ireland, there's a couple of players that I want to have a real good look at here. Uh, Noel White, 49 to 63, 76 to 94. We're going to sign him in. We've also got Andrew Connolly, 45 to 61, 70 to 94, six foot tall. Um, yeah, we'll sign him in at 180 grand. And also, Derry Fanning, uh, 55 to 73, 72 to 94 potential. 400 grand, sign him in. All right, we're in Switzerland. It is goalkeepers. Um, probably Schaller is the pick of the crop at the moment, but he is nothing special. Uh, there is a helmet head as well in Urs Erbele. We'd probably sign him if it was uh, even just a little bit more, just for the helmet factor. Um, but yeah, nothing really here from Switzerland so far. And on day dot, we get an offer for Baker. Uh, Barnsley have come in with 3.7 million. We're going to go ahead and reject all offers on Baker. All right, a few of you guys did ask uh, for me to check out some of the former players. Obviously, Price, his reactions haven't gone up, and that was probably his biggest downfall. Uh, so he won't be making his way back to the club. Uh, Lonkar is a 79 now. Uh, we don't have the money. We don't have 9 million to go after him. And his reactions are still only 59 as well. I did get asked about Fontana, and uh, it's possible that we could probably bring back Fontana, 2.1 million. He's got good finishing, but that was about all he had. Um, he still needs a lot of work. I was hoping he would have grown a little bit more. I don't even think he's gone up any ratings since he's left us. Um, so I'm not too sure on that one. The player I am going to try and have a crack at here is Linus Ishak. It is the Ibrahimovic regen. Uh, I'm going to see if we can do some sort of deal uh, to swap Costa and maybe a small amount of cash to possibly bring Ishak to the club before his price absolutely goes through the roof. He is at AS Monaco. He's going to cost us a lot in wages if we do bring him in. Um, he doesn't look that flash at the moment, um, but uh, he's got some good physical stats, and that's what you want. He's got the acro Acrobat, and uh, six foot one from Sweden. Should be fairly decent. Uh, a little bit of finishing training, and you'd assume that it'd be a bit better than bloody Costa. Um, yeah, so I'll see if we can make a play for him. It's not 100% on it, though. All right, here we go, game number three. And it's Cheltenham Town hosting Newcastle United. Maybe we can get some redemption here uh, for the draw. But we've moved back into second position. And uh, Newcastle only four points above us. So a real chance here for Cheltenham to get their season back on track. We really need to knock off Newcastle, close that gap. And uh, hopefully make a few acquisitions through this transfer window to strengthen this squad up as we push on to try and qualify and make the Premier League by the end of this season. Zaki Anwar is out injured for four weeks, so Jordi Fire is going to come into the camera. You can see the table there. Um, it's very tight at the top of the table. And Newcastle are the superior team. But we drew with them at uh, St. James's Park, but they failed to turn the lights on. The lights are definitely on here. Hopefully the lads are up for the challenge can get over Newcastle United. Here is our starting lineup. The usual suspects are out there. The only real change is obviously fire into the cam roll. We'll see how he does there today. And let's just get out here and see if we can get a win on the board. Oh, good save from Baker. A rocket came in. Diallo went down, got injured up the field, but it looks to be okay. That opened up the space for Newcastle to break the lines. They've taken a good shot from outside, but Baker gets a finger to it. And it'll be now be a corner. Diallo is injured. Six minutes in. That's not good. Good work from Suarez. Mini Cooper. Oh, and now Cooper's down. Fuck me. Newcastle is trying to injure us out of the game. Jordi Fyatt. Coops. Down the line. To meet Tate. He break the line here. Holds up the play nicely. Just needs to feed this one inside. He does. He finds Tekkers. Tekkers turns his man. Tech oh, for fuck's sake, Tekkers. We've had one good game. We've given him the opportunity. And he's been nothing but a hack. 
No, oh, that's terrible. The visiting team will come here, hoping at least to be able to do the same again. But Jordy Fire. It's the run from Jonesy. Jonesy pushing forward. Oh, oh, get off him, you fucking mug! Fuck's sake, ref! And at half time, it's been a tight midfield battle and it's nil all. Boys, what is wrong with our defence at the moment? You're just opening up like a fucking virgin on prom night. Jesus Christ, boys. How did he slip through so easily? Why is everyone running away from him? You can't expose Baker this fucking easily. He's only a young lad. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'd be pissed off too, Tom. It's corner for Newcastle. They are all over us like a cheap suit at the moment. Oh, for fuck's sake, you stupid fuck! Come on! Losing to these fucks. Unbelievable. What the fuck happened there? Oh, god damn it. Don't move or anything on the line. Jesus Christ. And it will go into what the, the fuck now. was that, Jones? Oh, Avila, you are fucking hopeless. Well, there it is. A 2-0 fucking defeat to Newcastle United. Wake the fuck up, boys, or we will not be making the Premier League. One fucking shot for the whole game. What the fuck was that? Well, the fire experiment didn't move. I moved yellow up there. That didn't help. We just had no ball forward to get anything into Tomite. Uh, just a piss poor performance all round from everyone. Right, today's player upgrade is Bowdry. Uh, here's the last remaining player to get upgraded. Everyone else has been done, uh, but you'd assume that I'm gonna try and bring some players in through this transfer window, so we'll have some more player upgrades. Uh, but yeah, if you wanna make any changes to his kit, he's probably a fringe reserves player at the moment, uh, but you never know. He may make his way into that reserve team if he grows nicely, but yeah. If you want to change anything on his kit or his number, let me know in the comments. We'll make that happen in a future episode. Right, so with that loss there to Newcastle United, we dropped back to fourth. And uh, there's still a lot of work here to do with Cheltenham. Something's happened with our defensive late. Even big Phil Mulholland hasn't looked the best. Um, we've been so solid. And then all of a sudden, we've let in a few extra goals. And that's not what we want here. We want to be a solid defensive unit and then strike on the counter. But... Uh, yeah, I think we're just missing that key cam roll. Obviously, Zaki Anwar uh, is out injured. So, I don't know. We'll have to work something out. But uh, that's where we'll leave it today. Hopefully, you enjoyed the episode. We'll see you in the next one. I'm Sparring DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. And you, have a good one.